Hello. Who's out there? Jenny from Australia. Nice to see you here. I'm so glad that you were able to join me live. This is my first live session. Awesome. Who else is out there? Do I see Karen? Are you out there, Karen? Who else is out there? Anyone else? Jenny, I think, maybe? Give me a comment or a wave or a thumbs up. I'm glad that you're able to join me today. We had a snowstorm here in Virginia overnight. We got one inch, 13 inches actually, 13 inches of snow. Yes. And oh, hello, Karen. How are you? Hey, let me know where in the world you are. Someone's from Australia. That's Jenny. In Virginia, we had 13 inches of snow, and we don't usually get a lot of snow in the winter time. It's usually here today, then gone tomorrow. Hi, Anne. How are you? Norway. Fantastic. So glad that you're here. You know, my neighbor was awesome. He shoveled my driveway. I didn't have to shovel my walkway or driveway. I was just so thankful for good neighbors. Do you have good neighbors? People who, Karen from Texas. I heard it's going to be cold. You know, my brother and sister live in Houston, Texas, and he was telling me today how cold it is. He actually went to the store to get a heater to put in his um, his uh, garage. Uh, I love uh, Houston. I've been there several times uh, because I have family that live there. What part of Texas are you in? Carrie, hey, how are you? Snowy Fredericksburg. <laughs> That's right. Lots of snow. But you know it's going to be gone in a couple of days because the weather is going to get warmer. And I don't mind that. I love fresh fallen snow. It's just so beautiful. But after it gets all muddy and dirty, I don't like it too much. So what are you sewing or quilting? Are any of you in any quilt alongs? Galveston. Oh, my sister loves Galveston. She loves the beach. She's a beach person and a cruise person. She loves to go on cruises. Yeah, but she, of course, she hasn't been able to do that lately because of our current world situation. Um, so anyway, who is quilting a in a quilt along? Anyone out there? Hey, Sue! How are you, Sue? Thanks for joining me live. This is my first live session. I've been working on getting this together for a little bit, and I'm so glad that I could finally go live. I want to go live every week and maybe just answer some quilting questions or talk about some of the things that I've been doing, hear about what you're doing. Um, and if any of you haven't... Oh, Sue, I miss you too. I miss you too. Um, I know. It's been almost two years now since you've moved. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Sue. Thank you for that encouragement. I appreciate that very much. Are you starting to sew? Did you join a group in, in your new place yet? I don't remember if you started sewing or not. Well, technically you can learn from me but I'm, because I have a YouTube channel and I'm putting up videos 
but they're a little advanced. They're not beginner um, quilting videos. Hopefully I'm going to get some more basic ones up and I'm working on my new website where I'll have some online on-demand classes coming. I've been working really hard behind the scenes. So who is sewing today? What did you sew today? Oh good, okay, so you haven't started yet but you plan to start. I hope you will. It's, I think for many people during this time of being at home, it's helped us to have a little bit of calmness, a little bit of peace, a little bit of relaxation to be able to sew. Um, and then we can sew things and bless other people with it. I think that's a, a, a big blessing. And you know that's what we did in, here in Fredericksburg. We make quilts for our baby dedications and quilts for the um, hospital. The local guild does that and quilts for seniors. Um, so who has been uh, following my YouTube channel? You know, since July, I've been putting up a lot of videos, a lot of quilting videos. And recently I started a series on quilting with circles. I want to do a lot of quilting videos. Oh, hi, Jenny. Oh, you love watching it. Thank you. I'm so glad. Sewing and quilting on my on your Sweet 16. I love that machine. That's a great machine. I have a sit-down machine, too. It's a a juki sit down. I don't do many YouTube videos on it because I know most ladies are using domestic machines, but I'm sure you've been able to use those techniques on your Sweet 16. Is that right? I hope so. But have you been watching the circle series that I've been doing? This is the new one that went up today. And I've been making a lot of designs based on just using a simple circle and how we can fill space. And I, I just love circles. So this is today's video. If you haven't seen it, um, maybe I think I put a link on my Facebook page with the video from today. And then a couple of weeks ago, I did this one. I think this one is pretty fun. You're able to quilt the circle and then do the design and then quilt the next circle, do the design and then keep going. It makes it very fast and easy. And then you can put whatever design you want in there. How long have you been quilting on your Sweet 16? Jenny, do you really like it? Do you prefer that over your domestic machine? I kind of switch back and forth. It depends on what I'm quilting. Of course, I do the videos on the domestic machine, but when I'm doing a big quilt and I'm on a deadline, more than likely I use my sit-down machine. Okay, and then who remembers this one from the YouTube channel? This is the two-step uh, two-step orange peel. Two-step orange peel design. I just love this design. If you're curious, oh, Jenna, you love circles too? I love circles. They're so versatile. And the fact that we can make this from a circle all my practice pieces, I use a fat quarter. When they're on sale, I just get a whole bunch of them. And this is half of a fat quarter. What I do sometimes um, as well is that I'll even cut it into four equal parts and have smaller practice pieces like this size. So if you only have a few minutes to stitch, then this is plenty. You know, you get about 30 minutes of practice. Okay, now when you see me look down, I'm looking at the comments so that I can 
read them and then share them with everyone else. Now, wasn't it a big difference when you started using your Sweet 16? I know, I love my sit-down machine. It's one of the best investments I've ever made. You know, it's a big purchase, but in the long run, especially if we're making quilts for family and for friends, we need something like that. Not all of us can do it, but if you can, it's worth saving for. And then here's another circle-based design. This is another one that I love, and all of these were made with the two-inch circle. Of course, you can use any size circle you want, but I just love this design. This is really, really fun, these loops. And if you saw the video for this one, it included a new quilt panel that I designed. And so I'm planning on, and let me know with a thumbs up or in the comments, if you would like to do a quilt along using these circle designs that I hope you're practicing, we can quilt the panel with some of those designs. We can do it together. And so I designed the panel and I put it on a spoon flower and I did it in two ways. If you're on my email list, I've already sent out an email this week and in that email it has the link. If you, if you didn't, I'll put the link on my Facebook page. One, you can get the fat quarter, which is what this is. This is the fat quarter. This is the fat quarter. Or, which I think is a better purchase, is to get the full yard and you get four panels on that one yard. I purchased the yard from Spoonflower so that you can see what that looks like. And if you got the newsletter, this week they have a sale, 20% 20, 20 off your entire purchase. It ends today though. And I was surprised with a spoon flower pin, a spoon flower pin, isn't that nice? So if you get the full yard, you'll get four panels to practice on and then you can make a tote bag, a pillow, um, whatever you want, a wall hanging, or you can just use the whole thing and make a baby quilt. But you get four separate panels on that one yard. You know, each panel is about 18 inches. Do any of you have any questions about the videos that I've been posting or any suggestions of what you'd like to see next in ruler quilting or free motion quilting? I try and, and give a variety of, of designing techniques as well so that you're not just learning the patterns that I make, but that you can also take the same techniques and apply them to other templates or rulers, click on playlist. I try to group the videos according to one, how they can be used, borders, sashing, um, the entire quilt, edge to edge, central designs, which just in a block. But eventually, I'm hoping that some of you are practicing some of the designs. I know it's many. But over time, you're going to build your skill uh, for one. And then the second thing is that you're going to have a library of designs to choose from. How many of you have said, oh man, I, I don't know how to quilt this quilt. I don't know what to do. But if you have a library that you can go through and say, ah, I never thought I would use this design, but now this design is perfect for this project. And I think that's how it can work.
And that's how it has worked for me. What about you? How do you choose designs for your quilt projects? I tell you, when I first started, all I did was stippling because I didn't know how to do anything else. And so every quilt for two years was just stipple, stipple, stipple. And then finally I started to incorporate other things, but it took time and it takes practice. So uh, I'm glad that many of you were here to share this live session with me, the first live on my Facebook page, Living Water Quilter. I hope to do more. Let me know if there's something specific you'd like me to share. So I mentioned that I'm in a quilt along, or did I? I asked you. I'm in the Fat Quarter Shop quilt along for Make-A-Wish Foundation. They're raising money for Make-A-Wish um, out in Texas. And um, I've joined that along with other quilters like Pat Sloan and uh, Corey. Um, I forget the other names, but there's six of us that are quilting along with Fat Quarter Shop. And you're going to see regular posts from us on the Fat Quarter Shop blog, on their social media, as well as on my blog and others too. Um, you can get a kit for the pattern. They release the pattern every couple of weeks, which is good. There's not a lot of pressure to get something done quickly. So you have two weeks to make, it's a row quilt. It's made in rows. And if you want to learn more about that, just go to my website, Living Water Quilter. Dot com. I just did a blog post about that quilt along. And I'm happy that I'm using new fabric by Lori Holt. If you don't know Lori Holt, please go check her out. She has this beautiful new fabric line called Cross... No. What is it? My goodness, I've already forgotten. Let me... B cross stitch wrong. Wait, let me get it. I'll be right back. Uh, it is by Lori Holt and it's called B cross stitch. And it's a beautiful assortment of rainbow colors. It's just a gorgeous fabric. And I took that fabric and this is the, the pattern by Fat Quarter Shop. Oh, you love Lori Holt's fabric? Yeah, pretty cool, right? Awesome. Hi, Jennifer. Yeah, she has a beautiful new line of fabric that will work, work well with a whole quilt like I'm doing now. Or you can use it as a beautiful um, background or neutral fabric. Go check it out. It's brand new. Um... Any of you in a quilt along? Are you in a quilt along, Jennifer? Jenny? What do you what are you ladies sewing and quilting these days? The new panels that's available. Remember today is the last day of the sale. It's 20% off on Spoonflower. And you can get a yard of fabric with four panels, and we're going to quilt circles on these panels. There are right now four ruler quilting videos on my YouTube channel that you can practice. And you want to practice ahead of time before... Oh, nice to see you. Hi, Karen. You sew with friends, Jennifer. That's, that's nice. Every Wednesday, wow. 15 years sewing with the same group of ladies. What an awesome thing to be able to do. I'm jealous. <laughs> That's nice. That's the best thing, isn't it? To just sew with friends and have a good time encouraging one another, being there for each other. You develop relationships through community sewing. I really enjoy that. I know that a lot of us now are stuck 
at home and are doing it online, but I'm thankful that we have the internet and are able to join and connect with each other online. What are you going to do for the weekend? Hi, Bonnie. Canada. Woohoo. I went to Canada years ago. I spent a month in Canada. I went to Nanaimo and um, Calgary. And uh, it was just a fabulous trip. I miss traveling. But yeah, so this weekend I'm going to work on some more blocks and I have a couple of patterns that are coming out soon in um, a couple of magazines. If you've been following my work in Quilt Maker and Quick and Easy Quilts, the newest quilt that's published is the Quick and Easy Quilts for February and March. If you haven't seen it, it's called A Star Has Arrived. It's a quick weekend project. It's a baby quilt project. But I have two more patterns coming out. One in Love of Quilting magazine and I another one in Quick and Easy Quilts. Do any of you subscribe to Make Modern Magazine? Maybe you do, Jenny. It's um, a fabulous magazine, and I'll share a secret with you. I'm working on a project with them that's going to come out later this year. So I have a couple of projects in the works. So if you haven't, just go to uh, Make Modern magazine and just put it in Google and it will come up. I have a pattern that came out last year called Good Measure. It's a neat magazine, all kinds of fantastic patterns. It's a digital magazine. Do you ladies like getting patterns from magazines? Where do you get your patterns? I was curious about that. When it's time for you to make a quilt, how do you find the quilt pattern that you want to use? Do you see it in the magazine? Do you see someone share it on social media? Do you um, subscribe to magazines? Oh, great, Jenny. You do like magazine patterns. You like to have the physical copy or does it matter? Do you like digital or Either one is okay. I'm curious about that. I think a lot more people like um, the PDF patterns, the downloadable patterns, because you can get them very quickly. But there's something nice about having a magazine with the pattern all laid out nice and, and neat. You can do either. Yeah, I guess so, I could too. Um, I guess the, the, the downside for me, yes to all. <laughs> Bonnie, you're funny. I, I You like quilt maker and you prefer Okay, paper pattern, but PDFs are easier to purchase. Yeah, it's kind of that give and take. The PDFs are easier to purchase, but then I have to take the time to print it out, make sure I have ink in my printer, and then I got to put a hole punch in it, and how am I going to store it? Am I going to put it inside a sleeve or a binder? When it's in the magazine, it's just kind of nice to have it in one place. But then, so anyway, they both have their the good parts, right? Yeah, that's that's kind of interesting on uh, which we prefer. But then when I'm at the cutting table, I like to just have a couple of sheets. I don't like to have to have the whole magazine. Um, so I'm glad and thankful that I'm able to contribute to both patterns for printed magazines as well as digital digital magazines. 
How many of you noticed the quilt behind me? That is a brand new quilt. It just came out last fall and it's featured in Island Batik. It's Island Batik has now Batik Solids. And so I made two quilt patterns with Batik Solids and they're in the patterns are in the fall catalog. Oh, thanks, Bonnie. It's it's really not a hard pattern, but it's really fun. And but it's a big it's a big quilt, but it goes together quickly because of the sashing and the block size. And it has just a little bit of paper piecing. It's a combination paper piecing and traditional piecing. And so a beginner, it's a, actually a good beginner paper piecing pattern, this quilt behind me. It's called Crossover. And if you want to get the size information and all that, it's islandboutique.com. And you look in the very beginning of the catalog, it's the Fall 2020. Yeah, the color, the blue, it's it's kind of interesting that I kind of go back and forth between blue and cool colors and warm colors. But I, I think if you don't like blue, you can just change the colors to warm and it will still work. Yeah, it'll still work. So anyway, that's a new one, and um, I'm glad to have that one available. It, um, it was tested by some really good friends, and if any of you would like to be a pattern tester, let me know. Send me an email to dina at livingwaterquilter.com. And I can send you information about what I look for in a pattern tester. And if it's a match, we can um, work together. You can help me out. I really appreciate it. Um, you have to have that eagle editing eye, though. Yeah, that's important. You do like magazine patterns. Yeah. They're fun. It's nice to see what's out there and what's new. And it really depends on one, what kind of mood we're in, what the project is, whether it's easy or hard, or you need a quick weekend project. It, it depends. Sometimes it's nice to have those quick and easy projects. Lori, hi. I'm glad I waited. I'm glad I didn't sign off too quick. How are you? What are you up to? Are you sewing and quilting? I know you've been watching some of the, the uh, videos on YouTube. I know that you like ruler quilting and free motion quilting, so I want to see some of the things that you're doing. Maybe I just need to visit your your Facebook page more often. I, don't, I haven't been seeing it on the feed. I think they've changed the way they feed the information to us on our you on our Facebook feed. All right, Sue, thanks for coming and watching and hanging out with me. Take care. Love you. I miss you so much. All right. All right. I know I said I was going. I'm just having so much fun talking about quilting. Yeah, the kids are home. They're not in school, so I can see that can be a challenge with 
getting some sewing done. Okay, so I haven't missed anything. I'm glad that I haven't missed anything, but I hope you get to sew soon. I'm glad you caught me too, Bonnie. Thank you. Oh, happy Valentine's Day to you too. All right, ladies. Have a good, fun, and safe weekend. I'll see you again next week. Um, if there's something in particular you'd like me to share, just leave a comment once this video goes on the page or just send me an email I'd love to share um, some of the things that you're interested in and we can just chat about that um, stay safe yes thank you I appreciate that Lori all right have a good weekend everyone you're welcome Thanks, Jennifer.